Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I am really excited to be sharing with you the amazing haul that I got from going garage sailing this Memorial Day weekend. And today is Memorial Day here in the United States, so thank you to the men and women of our country who have served. And Memorial Day weekend also marks the start of the summer season, if you will, as well as garage sale season, or boot sales, as they say in the United Kingdom. Uh, I went on two different days, Tom, my stepson Nick, and grabbed my grandson, and we hit up a lot of garage sales in various towns, and we had a lot of fun. So the haul that I'm going to show you today uh, came to, I'm going to say, under $35, and thank you, Tom, for your generosity. And I'm going to, in no particular order, although I'll show you each day, share with you what I got and how awesome this stuff is and let me know and you know for those of you who've been around for a while know that I used to share auction halls and um, then I purged my house I did the KonMari method and, and purged everything so we stopped going to the auction and I still kinda struggle a little bit with bringing more things into the home but I assure you each and everything I'm gonna show you uh, spark joy and this is also kind of spurring me to do a revamp uh, go through the house and kind of do some more purging so kind of what you bring in I want to you know let go of some things as well so without further ado let me share with you uh, the first place we went was kind of an open tag sale where they had many people set up and look at this are you kidding me hello these are authentic, you know, from the 70s door beads, and they go on and on. And for those of you who've been around for a while, know that I do have existing door beads in my bedroom to my living room door. Um, and I will be replacing these uh, with Tom's help this week. And aren't they amazing? You guys, all wooden beads. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that there is one strand here missing. And I have a lot of beads, and I may attempt to recreate that strand, but I may just leave it as it is. Uh, if these beads could talk, I'm sure they would have many, many stories to tell. Nine dollars, you guys. Nine dollars. So, none of these things, I haven't cleansed anything yet. Um, I was waiting to share with you guys, so I will be doing that today, but aren't these amazing? I was super stoked about that, and as always, uh, some of our favorite things about doing this is the people that we meet. So everybody's got a story, and it's so cool to, uh, to shop this way, and I would much rather keep this stuff out of the landfill and bring new life to it and... Yeah, for those of you who are into it, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, be quiet, Callie. Keep on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is something that was free. It was on a table. We were driving by, and we saw a table outside of a driveway with a sign that said free, and there were a bunch of items. And are you kidding me? You guys, how could I pass this up? Now, I'm not a tea drinker, okay? And this is a teapot, and again, these things are dirty. And it's not perfect, okay? You can see that it's kind of worn off here. And on the other side, and I'll show you, there is a chip. Now, I have many paints, and I'm sure I will at least uh, take care of that chip there. But are you kidding me? Even if I use this as a planter, but I had it setting, you know, I put it on my stove, and it looked adorable. So this was free, and it's porcelain. You know, this is a good, look at that, adorable. I'm in love with it. How about you? <laughs> so that, and then, again, in no particular order, um, this is a purple velvet bag that contained other little velvet bags. And I could tell when I picked it up, at first I thought it was marbles. And then I quickly realized that it was full of crystals and stones. And I just said to the guy, and I went through these with my grandson, and we've identified them. Uh, look, other bags too. Two, three little velvet bags, drawstring bags, can never have enough. 
uh, I said to the guy, how much for the bag? And he said, oh, there's stones in there, you know. And I said, yeah, I could tell. And he said, two bucks. Are you kidding me? You guys. Now, I'm not going to go through each stone <clears throat> again with you guys, but anyone who knows anything about crystals, you know, uh, these are amazing. Look at this amethyst junk. Yeah, so many, many beautiful. There's citrine and jasper and more. <laughs> Hello. Lapis lazuli. Rose quartz. Look at this rose quartz. Are you kidding? You guys. Hello. So I will be cleansing these. Look at this nice quartz point. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you clean everything and cleanse anything and get rid of any vibrations. Look, this little thing was in here too. Happiness and joy be mine. That's exactly what you want to find. So I hope that's true for you guys too. Again, look at these amethyst points. And my grandson was really into this too. We pulled out the crystal book and identified everything. And his favorite stones were the lapis lazuli. And he told me that there's lapis lazuli blocks in Minecraft. And that's how he knew about it. But how cool is that? Look at this blue lace agate. <gasps> yeah, so hello, do you think? $2? Are you kidding me? So that was wonderful. So, so far we're up to, I'm not going to be able to remember, but $11. We'll see if I can keep track of how much this stuff was because the teapot was free. Okay, this thing next I'm going to show you. Same guy that I got the stones from. This is brand new in the box. A Pelican, which I believe is a German brand. 24 color watercolor set. Watercolor paint box. And I will show this to you. Still in the box. Brand new. Okay, I didn't open the box. I just said, how much? He tried to get me to take another book. A book and another box, and if I had known, I would have taken the another one too. Um, but he charged me five dollars for this, and it's got booklets. Okay, these little ends come off. I looked this up on Amazon when I got home. Brand new, some the exact same one, thirty-seven dollars, thirty-six ninety-nine. Are you kidding me? I wanted to go back. So here's a tray, mixing tray, and that fits. You know, everything kind of goes together. Look at these. And you guys, I was just talking about what a newbie I am at watercolors and how, you know, I use children's water, like Crayola watercolors or Prang. And this is what the universe sent. So I, I really look forward to trying these out. Do you guys have any? Uh, experience using these my artist friends let me know but isn't that a great box and how cool that everything just folds up together hello <clears throat> and I was really really stoked about that and like I said I was I, I wanted to I kick myself a little bit for not taking the other one but how much do you need anyway so how cool was that yeah, a lot of times, you know, like many of us, people get into certain hobbies and things or they get Christmas gifts, etc. And to them, it means nothing to let go of it. But to someone who wants to use it, you know, it's a treasure. So I believe this was five dollars. It could have even been two, but I'm going to I'll err on the side of <laughs> truth <laughs> and say five. Excuse me for one second. OK, something else that was on that free table which I spied out of the corner of my eye. And this will need a little bit of adjusting uh, to hang it. But this is kind of a... At first I thought it was smushed, but it's not. It's just the way the metal goes. It's a votive holder. So you can... Or any kind of candle holder, actually. But I believe this is meant to hang outside. It's already nice and rusty the way I like it. 
and there is this little plate which is a top here and I struggled with this at first when we first picked it up because I couldn't tell everything was all tangled together and jumbled up and you couldn't tell if it was broken or not but it's not and this would be really cool hanging on a deck or something but most likely I will be hanging it in the house I'm a huge lantern fan or anything like that so what do you think for free okay all right we're up to sixteen dollars these next things Tom spied yeah I'm not gonna be able to keep track I this is like thirty five dollars and under Tom spied these uh, and was like you could use these in your crafting and that's another thing I love we all know what each other's tastes are and everything so we look out for you know stuff for each other but these were the same place with the paints and the crystals and I think these are earrings or a necklace but these are big feathers all right and I absolutely will use these in some mixed media yeah on the back you could see that it's like a set of earrings and maybe a necklace whole lot of feather action going on in there but they're metal and these were a dollar a piece which I wasn't gonna argue between the paint and everything else but you know I, I'm cheap I want like for a quarter these are earrings too but I'll use them for the stars and chains but you could see that they are earrings and this is just cheap costume jewelry you know and check these out another pair of earrings but these are you know they're metal and this is textured this would be cool for polymer clay too but you can see that they are earrings. So these were a dollar a piece. And then, random, here is a little LED light that looks like a mouse, a computer mouse. And it does work. I'm not going to blind you, but uh, it does work. And this is great because uh, often at night, if I'm watching a movie or something, I'll be doing crafting at the same time and I don't like overhead lighting at all it's very dim in my house at night and uh, so this is good for focus light and it's cute handy portable battery operated I don't even know 50 cents a quarter something nominal um, same place that came from I think is a and for those of you who know know I love to sew etc this was a, a whole bag for a dollar and this is various threads <clears throat> excuse me and these are all wooden spools you know just like grandma used to have and I am a bit of a thread hoarder I have to admit but that's okay I got a really beautiful uh, spool rack from the auction last year for like five dollars and those things are like a hundred dollars and so I've been slowly filling it up uh, and these are colors I'll use purples and blues and greens it's got my name all over it and for a dollar you can't beat it also there um, I had looked at this Nicholas showed this to me and I was like yeah and I think uh, the woman wanted to wanted a dollar or something for it and I didn't want to pay for it it's certainly nothing I would wear as jewelry but these are brand new it was in a box and I think this was a Sensi gift it says it's manufactured by Sensi and isn't that that uh, wax melt company or something so this may have been a prize, but they came in a box, and they're rings. And I'm definitely a purple purple girl, and that's uh, really cool, but I wouldn't wear it as jewelry. And here's this one. But I will use it in uh, mixed media. So this is a like an adjustable metal ring, okay? It's just too big for me. I'm not a big jewelry kind of girl. And this one's kind of like on an elastic, like a watch band. Okay, but these could be cool. Oh, not flipping you off. Incorporated on a bottle or something. I'll throw them in my embellishment jar and see what happens. So, uh, I didn't want to pay a dollar. And then when we came with the thread and stuff, she's like, oh, you can have the rings for a quarter. So, got the rings. And also, and I don't remember where these came from. I think, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll show you these. Not that I needed, I already have uh, two of these already, but these were cool, and they were 75 cents, 
and I really like this one the best. Uh, this is a terracotta oil burner warmer. You know, you put the tea light in and you burn, not burn, uh, warm your essential oils or wax melts. And here's another one. Um, I like it, but it's I'm not a fan of the shiny. I prefer the natural terracotta, but this is cool too. And these were 75 cents, and they came with... Uh, this is a wax melt, and it says Kringle Splash, and this is from Canal Town Emporium, and these were $3 new, and I didn't even smell this. Hmm. It smells like a nice men's deodorant. It's kind of like Irish Spring, you know? Like you could smell it. Anyway, uh, that... And then this is, oh, Kringle must be the name brand. Kringle Daylight, this one's in warm cotton. And again, this was $3 new, and these are new. Hmm. That's nice, too. It smells like uh, powdered laundry detergent, like powdered Tide or something. So I'm sure it's all artificial, you know, things like that. But maybe not. Who knows? Uh, anyway, these came with it, as well as these, which look used already, and I may not necessarily be using these, but these are oils. This one is Blue Spruce, Blue Spruce, and this is Spiced Pear. And, uh, again, they're not, you know, I want to use 100% essential oils, but it came with it for 75 cents. And same thing, I think this was like 50 cents, and this is a soap, and it's brand new. And this is from Chaswood Farm Soaps. It was $5.95 new. Cranberry balsam and ingredients, olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, castor oil, cocoa butter, essential oils, mineral pigments, and mica, certified organic. So these are hand cut from Vermont, and... Very cool, right? Okay, and then at the same place we got the thread, Tom saw these. He was like, uh, baby, you might want to check this out. This woman had a huge box of mounted rubber stamps, and my heart started to pound and go pitter-patter, pitter-patter, uh, because all of a sudden I need that, right? As I look through it, <clears throat> they were not necessarily my style at all which is probably a good thing because uh, I probably would have done some damage. But she obviously, uh, I believe, used to be a stamping up representative. And I think my sister used to do that too. They were big back in the day. I don't even know if they're still around, but it was like a scrapbooking stamping company, I believe. But this woman had many, many, many stamps. And she was selling them in clear boxes like this big, $5 for you know a good assortment. Unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, they were not my style. It was more very whimsical, happy birthday, boys and girls, babies, dog, puppies, things like that. Uh, so luckily, but I did get this box of classic stamping pads. I was just mentioning that I needed new ink pads. Um, I currently own a black, a blue, and a like a hot pink. And I wanted some browns and things. You guys, this was $4. And I'll show you what's in here. And I also got a couple stamps. I'll show you the stamps first. Um, and Tom and Nick got their own stuff. And my grandson got a 15-foot snake. And a, like a stuffed snake. And, uh, you know, we all got stuff. So anyway, but one of these, this was for my grandson, this fish stamp. But I got three of these. Uh, and look at this. Hello, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And, you know, they're lightly used, but I do not care. And here's a little baby butterfly. Okay, so these three... Yes, I can speak. And this is not a full box. 
I believe the full box had 12. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stamping pads. But you guys, some of these are brand new. And the ones that are open are juicy. I've checked them out. So I'll show you. Uh, here is a classic pad in, this is in chocolate chip. And it took me a minute to figure out how to open these because they open kind of weird. But as I put my finger in it, you know, they're all, <laughs> they're all juicy. So chocolate chip, old olive, and these are exactly the colors that I wanted, you know, that I was looking to get. Going gray, isn't that the truth? Creamy caramel. Here is another creamy caramel that is still wrapped. I was super excited to see that. Perfect for steampunk art and stuff. Here's a close to cocoa that's still shrink wrapped. A summer sun still in the shrink wrap. This one's been used really rust. And they're like brand new. And here is more mustard. So I was really, really excited for those, you guys. And <clears throat> like I said, all those pads and the stamps, $4. Excuse me. It is pollen season. <clears throat> okay. And the next thing I'm going to show you was $2. And I was so stoked. I already have one of these, slightly larger. But this is nicer. It's sturdier and you know I've had the same aesthetic and style or lack thereof since I was a t young teenager so uh, back in the day we used to get milk crates um, and I'm not and use them for albums and books and things like that well these are a step up you know you could use apple crates anyway this was two dollars you guys <clears throat> it says yeah two dollars I was so excited. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to stack it on top of the other one that I have. And this is great storage and I will have it for a long, long time. And I was really excited for that. So that was the first day. The second day we went out and we went to a totally, oh, and actually that night, Tom and Nick dropped uh, myself and my grandson off at the house, and on their way home, they passed another garage sale, and they picked me up. Look at this. These guys are so good to me. This is an oil lamp. Are you kidding me? How magical, you guys. Okay? Super simple design. You fill it with oil. This is a wick through a glass tube, and it's adjustable. Okay, and it's flat on the bottom, obviously, so it's not going to roll. And isn't that gorgeous? Again, anyone who knows me knows what a big globe orb fan I am. Uh, and I know you guys love that, too. So thank you, Tom and Nick, for everything. So that was all the first day. <clears throat> the second day, yesterday, uh, we kind of went all over the place and again, trying to keep in mind, you know, that how much do you really need? You always see stuff that, oh, that's cool, that's cool, but you have to kind of bring it down, or I do anyway, and just be like, okay, let's get realistic. Where are you going to put that? You know, how is it fitting in? And like I said, it's spurring me to purge again. Hush, Callie. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, I kind of struggled with uh, a little bit because uh, for those of you who know, know that I am vegan and I have been vegan for over a year now and I do still use uh, leather products that I already own. Uh, I have not thrown out some leather bags and leather boots that I own um, just because uh, I already, I think that would be wasteful. I already have them. I'm not purchasing more. Anyway, uh, I did kind of have a little bit of a, a moral dilemma. We came upon a box of anyone who's familiar with Tandy Leather here in the United States. Uh, it's a company and used to be able to buy leather kits 
and you can make belts or whatever you want, okay? <clears throat> well, this woman at this house apparently was into that at one point. So there was a big box of leather scraps and things like that. And I was like, ah, oh. I reconciled it by, in my mind, thinking I'm giving honor to the animal. I'm not purchasing anything new. This is saving something from the landfill. But let me know, any of my vegan friends out there, especially artists, let me know how you reconcile this stuff because I know there are glues and other chemicals and stuff we use. Uh, anyway, that's not what this video is about. I did give in and break down and buy these four spools of leather suede lacing, okay? And these were four for five dollars. They're basically full spools and um, I will honor the animal and create beauty with these and try to uh, incorporate this in my artwork somehow. So uh, I didn't want to give it too much thought, but I did, um, and I left, there was so much in that box, but we did get these four, so four for five dollars. I have no idea what they retail for a full spool of this uh, suede lacing, but I would imagine I got a good deal. So, and this box right now that I'm showing you was definitely out in a garage for years and years. It has that old, musty, moldy attic smell to it, uh, as well as these things. So I will be airing everything out, cleansing everything. Um, yeah, Tom was suffering with his allergies yesterday with this stuff for sure. So these, I, um, again, I've done book purges, but I can't resist, you guys. This is an oldie but a goodie. Um, I've definitely seen this in the past. This is just a folk medicine book, and this is um, like using apple cider vinegar and things like that, and little, you know, now only 50 cents. I don't even know what year this was, but it's got that aged book page, you know, speaking of moldy, uh, 1958. Okay, so... <clears throat> this was probably a quarter. And this, I was attracted to the cover, or the back, if you will. Uh, and this is the back. It says Monday Night Class. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I said, I was like, how do I know that? How do I know that? Well, I saw the name. It says Stephen. This is Stephen Gaskin, who was the original founder, along with his wife, uh, who's a midwife, of the commune the farm in Tennessee back in the 60s and it's still existing to this day and I guess Stephen used to hold forth with these um, sermons if you will or uh, whatever but that's what this is about and I thought this would be really cool and interesting to add to my library of hippie literature uh, so I will be reading this and I'll let you know uh, what I think about it have you guys read this let me know. So that was that. Another quarter, I think. Uh, Tom spotted this. And at first I was like, eh. And then I thought, wow, that's really cool. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it looks like leftovers from a glass blower. But anyone who knows me knows about my uh, beaded windows in my kitchen. And this is glass. And it's cobalt blue, which is one of my favorite colors. And it's just hanging on this gold elastic. I'll be switching that out for some, you know, clear monofilament and hanging this in the window along with everything else. But uh, it's just kind of a random swirly shape. So right up my alley. What do you think? And this, again, was cheap. Under a dollar, I'm sure. And it feels really cool. Um, but yeah, it looks like glass blower leftovers, right? That's something I've always wanted to try. I've always wanted to try that and um, stained glass making. Those are two things that I have not yet tried, but uh, someday hope to. Okay, so that, and then speaking of like glass, Tom also spotted this, and this is just a tchotchka, tchotchke, you know, little knickknacks, uh, but this is a glass butterfly, and these are not my colors. I'm not much of a yellow girl. Um, I do like a pop of yellow every now and again. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, but I thought that I could go over that. I have some glass paints actually that I recently got and obviously, you know, obviously paint it purple and blue or something, you know, but isn't that cool? 
So little little butterfly, I don't know, under a dollar, I'm sure. These next two things, um, we had pulled up to one house in particular that was beautiful. That's another thing. I mean, you get to kind of be, it's very voyeuristic. You know, you get a glimpse into people's lives, strangers' lives, kind of like YouTube, right? Uh, that you'd never normally have an opportunity to do so. So you're going through their stuff and you get a sense of who they are. But we pulled up in front of this one beautiful house and uh, the way that the curb was, it would have been hard for me to get out and Tom was totally willing to move the car, etc. But I was like, no, I can see. You guys know what I like. You know, I'll stay in the car. So Nicholas, he's such a good boy, spotted both of these things and got them for me. So I don't know how much they were, but I'm imagining these were definitely like a dollar or under. Uh, this is an ocarina. Reminds you of the Legend of Zelda. Link had a magical ocarina. Um, these are wind instruments, and I'm not going to put my mouth on this right now because it's not clean, but um, you blow through it here, and these holes on the front like a recorder, and you can play magical tunes, and the wind will kick up. Uh, I do have a, another ocarina in my living room with a butterfly on it, but these are beautiful, and again, I don't need it, but it sparked joy, and it'll look cool hanging on the wall or something fun, right, for now. So I welcome that, and the other thing that Nicholas got for me, and I was like, oh yes, you don't even have to ask, uh, and this is old and beat up. And I should have kind of unwound it before I'm showing this to you guys. But I'll show you anyway. This one's still tangled up here. Uh, but I will be able to undo this. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, do you think this was meant for me or what? Again, cannot wait to polish this. So there's just a chain. And... Gorgeous, 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 like a dollar. So cannot wait to hang this in the home. Very thankful for that. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys, and it is the very last thing, uh, this is quite dirty, but for now I'm going to keep this as a tray slash something. I'm not going to alter it yet, but my intention when I first saw it was to make a mixed media collage in it. So it may one day live its life that way, but for now I am going to clean it out well and use it for its, it looks like it used to be a drawer, and this really smells of garage and mold, etc. But it's a sturdy wooden tray, okay? It's large, obviously, and this also was $2.00. So can't you see, I'm always on the lookout for frames with some depth to them uh, to build a collage in because I tend to go a little overboard and make them quite heavy. But yeah, so two box. And that is it, you guys. Please let me know what your favorite item was. Uh, let me know if you love garage sales or thrift stores or boot sales uh, or getting a good bargain. Um, and I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please do check out my other social media links below. I would love to see you guys there. Have a beautiful day and take care. Peace and love. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.